Okay guys, my final video for the polishes. To review, this first section was just V34 on a yellow pad and to update, I went back with it and managed to get a little bit better finishing out of it. Um, that is a more uniform haze that I would expect to see from Compound. I'm a lot more happy with that. I think initially the um, kind of uneven marring that I got was because I didn't use a pad conditioner or a quick detailer on the pad and it was a little bit dry. After the first section, it became a little more primed with product, even though I did prime it with some product, and it did a lot better. So in the future, I'll probably use, I have some Chemical Guys uh, pad conditioner, which I may incorporate into my routine here. Um, but yeah, that right there was very comparable to the Minzerna and McGuire's combo I did over here. This is... You'll see some slight hologramming near the very edges. That's because I was trying to not get too close to the and go over the tape to make sure the results were individual. But in the middle, <laughs> where I got you know actual pad on it, um, this straight from 105 to Minzerna Final Polish. That's um, SF4500 or PO85RD, whatever you want to call it. Um, extremely good results. Um, we can all agree that Minzerna is proven. Um, that's what I use on the Mach 1. Uh, I've used V38 on the Mach 1 before. I'm probably going to give it another chance, but on the Mach 1, I saw micro marring and stuff like that. Now, it still finished it, it still finished fine, probably to the normal person's eye, but on black in the sunlight or under an inspection light, you could definitely see some micro marring. Um, and Zerna does not do that. It is perfect 100%. Um, I know I've talked to Vader about Minzerna, and he says it just doesn't do well on his Subaru. I think that's another thing that people don't realize is that not all polishes are going to be perfect for all paints because every paint automobile manufacturer you know, uses a different kind of paint. So this is, again, this is the Just V34 with a yellow buff and shine pad. A little bit of hazing, not bad. This is V34 with an orange hex, hex logic pad. I cannot say that word to save my life. Very, very good. Finished very well. Um, if I hold it like this, you can kind of see slight hazing more so over here. Um, I got the work light in a second. We're going to go over it, too. Um, this was just V36 with a green pad. Um, definitely, I would say, a good go-to one-step, comparable to 205. Um, I have to go check the 205 that I did last week, but um, I think that the way this finishes is going to have a lot more to do with your paint type and your technique than it is going to be to do with the product. I think they're pretty comparable. Um, this was V30. What was this? This was the um, this was the V38. This was the V36. That's a uh, final polish, I believe. This was, and this is really good. Like I said, you'll see a little bit of marring right there. That's just because I didn't get close enough to the tape. Um, but right here in the middle, very, very good results. That's just that's um. I used the yellow pad with the V34. And then I used the V38 with a blue pad, buff and shine again, primed the pad, started high, ended slow, and that's just a two-step, very good results. Like I said, these results aren't going to be like necessarily what they would be on a full correction because I'm trying to work in a very small space. I probably should have made a little bit bigger spaces. So this is 205. Again, try to focus on the middle part because that's really where I got the most polishing. This is 205. Or sorry, I'm, I apologize. That's 105 followed mine, followed by 85 RD using a yellow pad with 105, which is super aggressive, and the 85 RD on a blue pad. And this is the V34 with the yellow pad, followed by V38 with a blue pad. So pretty close. Again, it's hard to really tell on this video. We really got to see it in person. Um, overall shine very comfortable. I'd like to get it in the sun and see, but. That's my, I guess, official review of the V34 with multiple pads followed by these two. I'd say Kimball Guys did a pretty good job. I will say that in terms of cost-wise, 105 is cheaper than 34. I think 34 is like 18 bucks for 16 ounces. 105 is like 20, mid-20s, high 20s for 32 ounces. But because 105 does not work longer, work as long, I think that value-wise are pretty close because V34 goes a lot longer of a way. You can work it for a longer period of time. You can probably work on a little bit bigger section. 
Um, and like I said, I've had these polishers for a while, and I still have a lot of them left. I've used them probably four or five times. Um, but I would say it's really try both products out if you can get a sample from somebody and see which one you like better on your vehicle. I would say on a black car, on Mustang paint, the Minterno is going to finish better. But as far as correcting defects, I was pretty impressed by... 34 with a uh, orange pad it finished extremely well in my opinion and then v38 actually did really well in correcting commenting haze and finishing out so anyway we'll do one more shine through that's the original paint fantastic that's good 16 years somebody didn't know what they were doing a little bit of dusting there the other thing too is 105 dusted like pretty heavily way worse than um v34 which is another plus especially when you own a black car Anyway, there you go, V34 yellow, V34 orange, that's um, V36, I believe, pretty sure, I think this is V34 followed by V36, yes, that's what that was, I'm trying to remember, I got a lot of combos going on here, but again, V36, V34 followed by V36, 34 followed by 38, which is the best as far as the chemical guys polishes combo, in my opinion. And this is the traditional McGuire's Minzerna setup. So, like I said, you'll see in a general sense how well they do. Again, working in these small spaces kind of made it difficult to get, you know, wall to wall correction perfect because they didn't want to overlap with the pad. So, anyway, I think that's the fourth or fifth video. I'm long winded, as you can tell. I'll post these up soon. And then I'm going to get on to the wax comparison, which I know most of you guys are looking forward to. So.